Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo here with another great Class A motorhome value from Parkway RV Center. Today we just got in this 2002 National Trade Winds Model 370. Now, folks, I know it says 2001 on the windshield, but the title came in about a day after we got the motorhome in. We already we bought it for an 01, and the title showed 2002. So, of course, the price is the same. Everything else is the same. The only other thing, this one does have a 330 Caterpillar engine instead of the 300 Cummings that's on the windshield. This is the 330 Cat Caterpillar turbo diesel. It's only got 31,000 miles on it. 7,500 Onan generator with right at 600 hours. I've got it running right now. Everything's inside, powered up, staying cool. I'm going to tell you, folks, it is extremely hot today here in the Georgia. I mean, I'm talking about freaking miserable hot. I want to show you. You can see, I mean, we've got 100 degrees hitting this RV right now. That's how hot it is. But wait till you see how cool and how good that air conditioner does, keeping it nice and cool inside. This unit's got two power slide outs, both with awning toppers. If you went in 2002 to a national RV dealership and asked for their top of the line series, you know, they make Dolphin, Islander, uh, several other well notable brands, but if you went in there and asked for their top of the line series, you would have got the Trade Winds. This is their best model, the 2002 Trade Winds. Full fiberglass exterior. There's absolutely no delamination. I want you to look at the uh, striping and finish on this RV, folks. Beautiful condition. You know, this was about $160,000 new. There's your 330 cat badging. A hundred and sixty some odd thousand dollars new in 2002. So this was not a cheaper model by no means. Still has a book of over $52,000, or right at $52,000. So I'm basically selling it for $10,000 under NADA with 31,000 miles. Now folks, if that's not a good buy on a diesel motor home, I don't know what is. This is a 2002 370 trade winds with 31,000 miles. Got a big awning, 22.5 inch tires. It's got the Allison transmission. I mean, folks, this unit's loaded. It's a diesel bus. I mean, a diesel motorhome with 30,000 miles, you can drive this thing 100,000 miles a year, and you're not going to wear it out. You'll still be driving it a decade from now. That's the benefit of a diesel over a gas is the longevity. You know, you get a gas burner, you take care of it, you'll get 150 to 200,000 miles out of it. You get a diesel, though. You can have seven, eight hundred thousand miles on this RV and still running the roads. I mean, you just cannot wear a diesel motor home out. You add the 7,500 diesel generator, you're never going to wear it out. Quite possibly, folks, this is something you can be driving 20 years from now if you take care of it, and quite possibly the last motor home you'll ever need to buy. Let's take a look inside this 370. It's got the dual power steps. Folks, I'm going to tell you, remember it was 100 plus degrees outside. It is nice and cool in here, and I've got both the roof airs running. That's the benefit of buying a higher end model like this over the cheaper models. The higher end models are better insulated. It takes a little bit longer to get them cool, but once they're cool, they stay cool for a long time. I mean, I've got the air going. Got my handy dandy thermometer. I mean, look at that, folks. We're blowing low 40s. And we're sitting out here, no shade. Uh, sun right on the roof, and we're blowing under 40 degrees out the roof fence. That is freaking amazing. To be as hot as it is right now. Heat index today is almost 110, and we're blowing 39 degree air out of the roof of this thing. So I, needless to say, I'm gonna stay in here for a little while because it is nice and comfortable in here. Beautiful interior. You can tell the craftsmanship from the time you walk in. Deep plush carpeting, real ceramic tile floor. Uh, you've got the Corian countertops, two ice cold airs, all leather captain's chairs, leather recliner, got a fold up table. 
up here in the front like i said folks 31,000 miles it's got the power gear hydraulic leveling jacks the backup camera works great cd stereo uh no warning lights everything in here works just like it's supposed to it does have the exhaust brake it does have i believe it's got the uh it's got the built-in levelers got the heated power mirrors pretty sure this is an air brake system it is does have the air brakes the glass is perfect no rock dings no cracks nothing like that you don't have to worry about putting a windshield in it like I said both these very nice leather chairs captain chairs they do swivel for party seating they're in great shape I mean when you've got a 31,000 mile motorhome folks you're not going to have hardly any wear and tear at all beautiful interior it's got the carpeted headliner which is great for reducing road noise when going uh, when you're traveling and it also helps insulate the coach and notice the nice upgrade fluorescent lighting throughout the entire RV you know I know you really can't tell much right now but when it's dark outside you've got your lights on it makes a big difference when you have fluorescent lighting over just the standard RV lighting recliner leather recliner sleeper sofa makes a bed this makes the full bed you've got a table booth that makes a bed so this is actually a six sleeper dual furnaces and it's got the electric heat pump built into the air conditioner which i know right now at 105 degrees you're probably not thinking much about heat but it does have the electric heat pump and the dual dsi furnaces so if you do a lot of winter camping like we do that's definitely a big plus a very nice solid wood table uh, of course, I've got your NADA printouts to show that prove what I said about the book values right. I'll show you that here in a minute. Uh, you've got two ovens in this RV. It's got a microwave confection oven, so you can use this as an electric oven or a microwave. And you've got an LP oven. So if you'd like to cook a lot, you've got a really nice kitchen area. Of course, three burner stove top. This is all real Corian countertops. Best way to tell is if you've got the uh, badge right there, and it does. So this is actual DuPont Corian countertops, countertop extender. That refrigerator is ice cold. Now, I've only had this RV on an hour, so this refrigerator hasn't got into operational temperature yet, but it's still below, it's getting below freezing in the freezer. And of course, you know, if it works in the freezer, it works in the refrigerator. Right now we're 22 degrees in here. So that obviously works. It just takes them a few hours to get to complete operating temp, but we guarantee everything to work down to every last little light bulb. Real ceramic tile floor. We've got the carpet runner down. Got a nice little area right here. Walk through bathroom. Got a slide out pantry on one side. These are solid hardwood cabinets. Over here, of course, you've got a built-in inverter. It's got your inverter controls, battery status, everything's like it's supposed to. LP system, it's got your house-type thermostat that controls both your air conditioners and your heaters. Walk-through bathroom, got a really nice glassed-in shower. It's got the etched glass, really nice looking. Now, folks, we haven't cleaned this RV up yet, and I apologize, but uh, rest assured, this RV will be detailed outside and inside and checked out before you pick it up or we deliver it uh, nice sink area uh venison cabinet got a nice vanity even notice little things like brass plumbing fixtures instead of the cheap plastic fixtures open this up you got a upgrade porcelain rv toilet uh it's got a vent fan more storage behind there and everything's enclosed they even have the matching wallpaper which is nice that way if you're in the toilet you're not blocking access to any part of the rv built-in hair dryer uh, across from that if you can excuse that ugly guy in the mirror got a nice uh, wardrobe closet storage drawers then you walk back here to the bedroom and it's just got a very very nice rear bedroom with a slide out uh, notice it's got the um Queen Island bed has still got the original factory bedding. It's got day night shades in the windows. You've got your own stereo out here, reading lamps. Another closet and a huge hanging closet in here in the slide out. Plus more storage here at the foot of the bed, a TV, 
I mean, this is really Nationals top of the line trade winds. It's a beautiful RV. It's priced so far back of NADA, it's not even funny. Folks, this unit's only priced 429. This is an 02, not an 01, like it says on the windshield. It's an 02. And it's got the 330 cat, not the 300 Cummins. Uh, 31,000 miles. Everything works. We're going to show you everything works. Current NADA, and of course, I do two of them. I, I do one, which is something a dealer's never going to do, is show you one with no options. This is strictly base book, not even adjusting for mileage, which I don't think you can with diesels. 48.4. I'm not asking 48.4. I'm asking 42.9. The true NADA, which is this one right here with all the added options that are not standard, $51,000. That's $9,000 under book value, folks, with 31,000 miles, and that's the kicker. 31,000 miles, nine grand under book value. Look these up online, the 370s online. We're thousands less than any other dealer for sale by owner out there. Deals like this is why we've been the best place to buy a used RV at for almost half a century, folks. 48 years in business, family owned, family operated, three generations now. Folks, my grandfather started this place way back in 1968. He taught my dad, who taught me, that there's RV dealers on the corner of pretty much every street in America. I mean, you'll literally pass hundreds, sometimes thousands of RVs getting to us. Everybody prices them the same. They get online, they price them within a few hundred dollars of each other. Uh, folks, what he taught, what my grandfather taught us was very simple. Price your RVs less than anybody else in the country. You will sell nationwide. I mean, if somebody can save $10,000 in an RV, they're going to spend a few hundred dollars flying here to Georgia from California or from the West Coast or from up north or out west or down in Florida. They're going to pay a few hundred dollars to fly in and a few hundred dollars to drive it home to save 10 grand. I mean, I would myself, especially. That's a lot of money you can save. So he taught us we're not going to make as much on every unit, but we're going to sell more. And 48 years later, folks, his dream is here. We're one of the largest and highest volume RV dealer, used RV dealerships in the United States. I've got 160 used RVs, probably 40 to 50 Class A motorhomes. I've got the lowest prices on the internet by thousands. Uh, I have customers fly in from all over the country every week, and we'll pick you up for free at the Chattanooga, Tennessee airport, by the way, during business hours, or if you want to rent a car. We'll help you uh, drop the car off at a local rental car terminal. But folks, we'll help you get this. Uh, we'll help you pick up this RV any way we can. We offer nationwide delivery at cost. All I charge you is whatever it costs us to bring this camper to you, this motorhome to you. Not a dime more. I make no profit on delivery. Folks, I'm going to tell you, uh, deal deals like this is why we sell about 20 RVs a week, folks, because we have the lowest prices on the internet. Uh, I mean, if you can travel a few hundred miles or two or three thousand miles and save ten grand, wouldn't you do it? Because that's exactly what you'll do if you buy this RV from Parkway RV Center. Not only are my prices thousands lower than anybody else, I don't charge fees. You know, the latest thing the last few years these dealers have been doing is charging dock fees, prep fees, tag and title fees, dealer fees, processing fees. They come up with different names every year to call them, folks, but we call them ripoff fees, and you should too, because all those fees are 100% dealer profit. They're 100% unnecessary to purchase a used or new RV. The only thing you're required to pay for an RV by law is the sales price that you agree on and any sales tax due. In other words, the only time you're going to pay that, of course, is if you buy in the same state you live in in other words, if you're a Georgia resident, you buy from us, you have to pay tax. If you're a Tennessee resident, you buy from a Tennessee dealer, you pay tax. California resident, California dealer, etc. You pay tax if you buy in the same state you live in. Other than that, folks, that's all you have to pay. If you pay a dime more than the price and the tax, you just got ripped off. Those fees are 100% dealer profit. I'm going to tell you, folks, If in, I'm always a firm believer in if they get you on that, no telling what else they're getting you on. Not only that, folks, they actually mark interest rates up on financing. This is just a horrible practice that other dealers do. Uh, they get you approved at a really low interest rate, just like we do. I mean, our interest rates start at 2 2.5%. But they actually get you approved the same rate we do. But they charge you 
five, six, seven, eight percent, whatever they think they can get away with. And they do that because the bank lets them keep the difference in the interest rate. In other words, the bank doesn't care if you pay 20% interest. As long as they get their two, two and a half, three or four percent, whatever they approve you for, they don't give two nickels what the dealer charges you. This costs the average consumer thousands of dollars in higher RV payments over the life of an RV loan than you would have paid here at Parkway RV Center. Because folks, we have no interest rate markup. The lowest possible rate we can get you is what you pay. I don't believe in it. I fire anybody that gets caught doing it. Uh, it's just not right. I, I believe financing should be a courtesy to our customers, not as a way to exploit and make money like other RV dealers do to you. So no fees. The lowest prices on the internet by thousands. Nationwide delivery at cost and the best financing rates you can find. You add all that together, folks, you're saving ten dollars to $15,000 uh, in uh, buying an RV from us over any other guys out there. If you buy an RV before you call us, you just did the equivalent of taking about $10,000 of your own money, cash, putting it in a paper sack and setting it on fire and watching it burn. That's exactly what you did if you bought a uh, used RV before you called us first. I, have, I don't have commissioned salespeople. I can't tell you how huge that is for you as a buyer. You don't have to deal with those pressure, high pressure commissioned salespeople. My salespeople get paid the same every week. It doesn't matter if we sell our average, which is about 20 a week. It doesn't matter if we sell 40 or 50. And we've done that before. They get paid exactly the same. Commissioned salespeople, folks, I don't believe in them. I believe they put a lot of unnecessary pressure on the buyer and the seller and I don't believe that's the way that buying should be so all my salespeople get paid exactly the same every payday because folks I've always my grandfather said this too because he was the same way about commission salespeople they're wrong it's just not the right way to do business when you have the lowest prices on the internet and the lowest prices in the country on used RVs why do you have to pay people to sell your RVs he's right I don't have to pay people to sell my RVs my videos, my pricing, and the condition of my RV sell the RV. I don't have to pay a hot shot salesperson to, to twist your arm, put a gun to your head, whatever, and make you buy. Because folks, when you call, you, you know you're already getting the best deal on the internet on, on this particular make and model. So I don't have to pay somebody to sell. My salespeople are paid to answer questions, to help arrange financing if you need it. If you've got a trade in, we'll help, they'll help you with that and they'll help arrange a delivery time or a pickup time. And of course, if you pick it up, my RV Techs will go over this thing top to bottom with you, show you everything works right, show you how to operate it. Again, at no extra charge. Give us a call, folks. Our numbers are 706-965-7929. Evenings and Sundays are 423-605-6747. Our website is parkwayrvcenter.com and our email is sales at parkwayrvcenter.com. I've got about 160 used RVs, folks. I don't have them all online because we're buying them and selling them faster than I can post them. So if you get on the website, you don't see what you're looking for, chances are we have it. It's just not posted online yet. Call our non-commissioned salespeople. They can send you pictures, give you any details about it you want to know. And uh, you're not going to believe how much less our price is than anybody else. Oh, and another thing, folks, I know it's really hot right now. We've got, we're going to be in the upper 90s for the next couple of weeks. If you want to call, make an appointment to see a particular RV um, if you'll call us and just set up a time with a salesperson making an appointment like you're going to the doctor's office, we'll have the RV plugged up or we'll have the generator running and the air on so you can actually stand to stay in it because, folks, these things get hot <laughs> when the air's not on, trust me. And this way you can look it over at your own leisure without uh, losing about five pounds of water weight from the sweat. So if you'll call us, make an appointment to see an, a particular RV, like I said, we don't mind running the generator, plugging it up, getting the airs going, getting it nice and cool and turning everything on for you so you can see everything work. I don't mind that at all. Uh, but I can't do that if you drop in without an appointment because it takes these things about a good hour just to really cool off where you can stand it in here. But give us a call folks, 706-965-7929. Evenings and Sundays are 423-605-6747. Uh, everybody here works together. Nobody makes commissions, so anybody answering the phone can normally help you. Thank you for watching, and please let us know if we can help you.